With Black Ops 6, our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. We've pushed ourselves at every corner to innovate and craft the most signature Black Ops experience for our players. Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining movement across the entire game. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. This unlocks the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. From the beginning, we started with, you can't do this thing, why? And then realized people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint in any direction, then you can dive in any direction, you could slide in any direction, which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game, whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. We truly believe that once you experience Omni Movement, there's no going back. We also have what we're calling Intelligent Movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Sprint Assist, Mantle Assist, and Crouch Assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine-tuning. Intelligent Movement really started with this idea that we want all players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. We looked at other genres like racing games where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own movement options. I don't think this is a one size fits all thing. And I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. So we, now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. So world connectivity is this concept that players' movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. A great example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's gonna dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. We are constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6.